I'm Sarah Palin. Hi, I'm Alicia Arden, and I'm a female comedian and actress, and you're watching In Art Media. Well, I'm from Vegas, born and raised. Las Vegas is the most Republican city in the nation. Nothing says Republican like gambling, drinking, and legalized prostitution. I mean, even the hookers over there, they're all Republican. You voted for Bush twice? <gasps> lobby me, lobby me, lobby me. Yes, I have five children, and I gave them all free entry fees for any type of beauty pageant that they want. Girls that are from Vegas usually get asked, you must be a show girl. No, actually, I was a stripper, but it was working out really well. What do you mean I don't know how to count? I know what 10 plus 12 is. It's a bust. No, it, it's not. Well, being born and raised in Las Vegas, it's a, like a natural wave to segue right into comedy. My little one that is my special needs child, he's gonna win the little baby photogenic in the beauty pageant. I played Teresa Carter on General Hospital and then I got killed off. And I've done some independent films. And as an actor, I don't want to limit myself just to drama or soaps. I kind of want to experience it all, and I ended up loving stand-up comedy and doing open mic nights at the improv and the comedy store. I'm not afraid for people to talk about me, say good or negative things about me, funny things, and laugh at my jokes. Listen to me, listen to my jokes, I'm funny, I'm funny. But I want to tell you, being from Alaska is a lot of hard work. I am the governor and I have a lot of responsibilities. It's great to walk up to a comic and say, I'm a student of Judy Carter. I'm a fellow alumni student of Judy Carter. She wrote the comedy Bible. Baywatch was really, really fun, hun. Really fun. So I had a good run on there. I would have liked to have been casted further along. However, at the time, I really was resembling Yasmin Bleeth. And they're doing a movie now of Baywatch. They, they are, because I have talked to the producers, but I said to the producer, it doesn't have to be an Oscar award-winning thing, it's Baywatch. I've been to Juneau, and Juneau, Alaska is the capital. Well, I'm on the Golf Channel, and I do, I play Amber McMulligan with Chip Green, sexy girls of the stock market show, and I'm one of the sexy girls of the stock market. Subprime slime is what it's called. It's about the housing debacle, people losing their homes, I mean, who would you really want to buy stocks from? He's balding and sweating and old and screaming, sell, sell, sell! Or do you want to buy stocks from like pretty girls in bikinis? When I was, you know, struggling as an actress, I was the Makita Power Tools girl, and I traveled and I was the San Miguel Beer girl. And the documentary is called A Mother Changed, and it's about from being from Las Vegas, my father left me all this raw footage of Vegas. I have all these tapes of all the hotels so that's one of my passions is getting my documentary sold. I want to do your film, Tony, <laughs> your independent film, and sticking with my comedy, and maybe I'll do uh, another poster shoot. John McCain can rely on me. If anything happens to him, I can take over as president, and don't you worry about it. I'm not going to have any more children. They can expect to see a different show every Saturday. There's a lot of fun improv games that we play, and it's never the same show week to week. Well, we want to, st we want, especially when there's teenagers and kids in the audience, we would love to stay away. One of the girls got that she is uh, addicted to sex. So sometimes the audience members, they want to mess with us, and they want to give us some outrageous suggestion that no one's ever heard of. I'm 45 and I have had all my reproductive organs taken out. Miss Wasilia, Alaska. You know, I want to just give them something that's going to be so hard for them because I've had a bad day. And maybe, maybe someone got fired and they're like, I'm just going to mess with them because I got fired and I had a bad day. I got a parking ticket. Maybe you got a parking ticket or a speeding ticket. And you'll give us something really hard to make you feel better. I think the meaning of life is to not get upset and just be, take it one day at a time. Don't panic and freak out. Now, like I'm right now on your TV show having an interview with you. I can't worry about, am I gonna have a flat tire in an hour? 
am I going to make my class? And what's going to happen next week? What's going to happen next month? Am I, am I going to get the part in the film? Am I going to book the commercial that I auditioned for before I came to you today? I'm passionate about being a comic, actress. I've done quite a bit of modeling, actually. <laughs> I'm in Muscle and Fitness, Hers Magazine, this month. I had a fellow actress friend recently pass away. Um, of heart failure. I just saw her at the Directors Guild in March in, for a screening. And then I talked to her in May. So Clinton knows of her. I like to go to film festivals and screening. It was just great. And I was talking to a lot of people that I work with, that I know, and I met new people. And that's, that's my fun. And posing on the red carpet. <laughs> you tell me where you love the Make the camera sound, Tony. Make the camera noise.